Where do you want it, Orange? Oh, um, right over there, please. And one and two and three go. And two and you're a princess. Why could the princess please hold still so the costume designer can measure her? And one and two and three. Oh, no. Dear sister, I am going to have the first dance with Prince Barry Chan. Decide who has the first dance with the prince. Prince. Well, it says prince here. What? Oh, another typo. Sorry, my fault. Excuse me, people. Everyone, a moment for your director. I know I've been working you hard, but I wanted to take a moment before our dress rehearsal tonight to thank you for the marvelous job everyone is doing. I know our production of Barryella and Prince Barry Charming is going to be a delightful surprise for our baby Barrykins. Strawberry, you are doing a very fine job as Barryella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still, Priest. Oh, sorry, very fairy fashion mother. Raspberry, you are also doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, Plum. Lemon, our makeup artist hairstylist, and our writer Blueberry as Barryella's mean and jealous stepsister. <laughs> yeah. Our stage manager, Orange. <laughs> and our fabulous music director, Cherry Jam. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Hey, Will. <laughs> Charming. That's me, I guess. Hmm. The play's great. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... Well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I, uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Me? That's me? It's going to be you when I get done with... <clears throat> when the costume is finished. A little makeup, a little work on the hair, and presto! Even you won't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, charming. That's me. So, how about we rehearse the scene where Barryella meets Prince Barry Charming for the first time? I know that one. The scene where I say, Good evening, and may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting lady? Whoa! You memorized your lines already? Well, pretty much, yeah. Excellent! Okay, Huck, right here. Barryella, you'll be entering. You see the prince. The prince will see Barryella. Mm -hmm. You're a prince. Yep. Regal. Right. Charming, but not snooty. Yes. Aristocratic, but not arrogant. Yep. You are going to impress her. Got it. Mood music! me a humble prince ask just who's this enchanting oh. lady huh how's that <gasps> different i'd even say unique i think uh, we want to relax into the oh, character yes it's just an everyday ball sure you go to balls all the time yes no Big deal for a prince like you. Got it. Hi. So, good evening. And may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting <gasps> lady? <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Got an idea. Evening, ma'am. Another idea. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fault. Good evening. This is your humble prince asking the question. Who is this enchanting lady? It's gonna be a long night. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, Plum, how do you like Barry Yellow's pumpkin coach? I love it. Plum, 
things. Except it looks like a watermelon. It is a watermelon. Pumpkins are out of season, but no problem. One pumpkin coming up. We'll have her finished before the curtain rises and Ed says, giddy up. <laughs> oh, I mean... A watermelon? What else can go wrong? Plum. Yes? There's something I should tell you. Did you hear? The prince is searching... Uh, the entire... Uh, searching the entire land for the girl who left the ball at midnight last night. <gasps> Does he know who she is? Blueberry! Oh, hi, Plum. Just bringing lunch over now. Huh? You're kidding. Okay. I'll tell them. The Prince Charming song is out. Huck can't sing. At least there's nobody here to see me if I mess up. Oh, no, that's not till tomorrow night. The place uh, will be packed. It will? Sure. We're giving the show for all the Barrykin kids. Y you mean there's going to be an, an audience? Of course. That's the whole point. Okay, you ready, Huck? 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 Oh, no. Curtain's going up in... What's with him? Worst case of stage fright I've ever seen. He can't move. What'll we do? The show must go on. Oh, Prince Berry Charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal ball. Here, at this royal ball. Why, thank you, Berriella. And may I say that you dance divine, divine, divinely. You dance divinely. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls in the land. You know what we say at the castle. If the hat fits, wear it. Let me try it on first. No, me first. And now, now, patience, please. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I am sorry. It seems that you are not the one I danced with at last night's ball. What do you think? Is it working? Working is... isn't... well, it isn't the word I would have chosen. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Bluebeard. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics. But before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh. It's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespalina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Ugh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Ooh. Well oh, done. You did. Oh, so oh. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Rasbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. Oh. There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. And so, 
Each accompanied by their barricade in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barricade Bloom. Uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> Well, now, you see, a uh, toll, please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll, mm -hmm. troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Hmm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner? The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... <gasps> Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Hmm. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Not another one. Oh my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagus. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. Aha! Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. Royal gold. 
sparkleberry juice that powers the whole town is blocked. Oh, no. The pressure's out of control. What's that? No, we don't know what caused it, but we think. Hey, yeah, Earl, get that valve closed down. Yeah, right away, boss. We think it's a backup somewhere in the system. Yeah, no problem. I'll send a crew over to your place right away. I got a couple of guys who are perfect for the job. Is it going to be this noisy all over town? Oh, yeah. But this is nothing. A couple hours from now, when we bring in the juice-powered trench diggers, you won't be able to hear yourselves think. If I were you, I'd just close up shop for the day. what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wait! Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it. We have to find that blockage. Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! So, Ed, do you think we're at the lake yet? Uh, for the tenth time, Earl, we're not at the lake yet. We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. Uh, look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet? Uh, what else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! Hey! We're here! Kiss story! Say it loud and be proud! Go on, raise your voice and yes. shout it out! Say it loud! Make your sound! But this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that'll be great. <laughs> 